Players are going to start to be able to do this soon in Grand Theft Auto Online, and I can imagine it's going to be a little controversial, but we should have seen this coming as Rockstar has been doing this more and more in their last couple of updates. We'll be talking about all of that in this video today and a whole lot more. So this information comes from Rockstar Games insider Tez Funds 2, who ended up saying this. When you hear of Rockstar Games and music, it's almost like the latter is a synonym of the former, because music is simply put, a part of Rockstar's DNA. Sam Hauser, the founder of Rockstar Games, is incredibly passionate about anything music related. Just last year, Rockstar launched a record label in partnership with Circo Loco. The strong inspiration for music artistry is materializing more evidently within Grand Theft Auto Online in the past two years. Starting with the Cayo Perico heist in December 2020, which featured Moody Man, Jay Orbison, Palms tracks, kind music, and cameo appearances of West Coast legends Dr. Dre and DJ Pooh. Rockstar is not stopping anytime soon to feature more music-related content. Within the game files of the contract update, Dr. Dre's VIP contract is referred to as the first VIP contract, suggesting a second VIP contract may arrive in the future. Plus, a bunch of new, unused for now, Parameters were added within the Criminal Enterprises update to functions associated with the DJ tracks. But more importantly, what's coming in the future and what is Rockstar's next grand idea for music? As per a reliable source, Rockstar will let players come up with their own mixes and beats in Grand Theft Auto Online. Similarly, an interesting development occurred with how Take-Two Interactive, Rockstar's parent company, registered a domain name by the name of Rapinator back in October 2020. A decade ago, in September 2009, Rockstar released a music mixer by the name Beaterator in collaboration with Timbaland, allowing the player to produce their own loops. The two names surely bearing interesting resemblance as Rockstar likes to make references to previous product releases. This idea has been stewing within Rockstar's oven for a while, as well as Rockstar considering featuring Michael DeSanta for the first time in GTA Online. Just like how half the contract update focused on Franklin Clinton and the other half focused on Dr. Dre, we could see a future update with one focusing on Michael and the other half on making your own mixes and beats. All right, so that's where I said things are going to get a little bit controversial because I think you either fall in two camps when it comes to Rockstar introducing a lot of music stuff in GTA Online. You're either all for it, you like how Rockstar has introduced the nightclub content with the DJs, Cayo Perico Heist with more DJs, even Moody Man slipping into the Tuners update and Dr. Dre and DJ Pooh being featured in the contract DLC. Music has been involved in a lot of the DLCs really over the last two to three to four years. And you've either liked that change or you really haven't liked that change. And it looks like the next update, which we will talk about in a little bit more detail, is going to have you being able to come up with your own mixes, beats, songs, records, stuff like that. I do think that could be pretty cool, especially because there is so many talented people in the Rockstar and in the GTA community that I really do think they'll be able to come up with a ton of creative stuff. But my worry with all of this is it seemingly becomes the focus of the DLC. Rockstar did a really good job with it in the contract update and even the music stuff, they ended up tying it into something like short trips, which allowed more gameplay aspects and gave us a backstory and more details on the life of Franklin and Lamar that we didn't have from story mode. It was kind of our story mode DLC for GTA Online. Now, Rockstar has been working on this for a couple of years now. It looks like Rapinator is going to be the name of it, or at least that's what it was at first. And I don't know if this is going to be like a personal thing you do on like one of the in-game computers, or if you have to go to an established studio like Record A Studios, The Music Locker, something like that. Obviously, as we get more details, I will, of course, share them with you. But that is what we know as of now, that it looks like in the next update, Rockstar is going to be introducing a way to create our own music here in Grand Theft Auto Online. Now, anyways, let's move on and let's get some more details from Rockstar Games Insider Tez Funds 2 because someone ended up asking him, is there a pile of all the reasons to expect a movie slash Michael DLC anywhere. And Insider Tez Funds 2 really sums it up good here. He says, number one, 
Rockstar teased it themselves in the contract DLC when Franklin says, man, I know one of the producers around here. I hope his butt ain't at work today while going through Richard's majestic productions, just like Dr. Dre's cameo in the Cayo Perico heist update, only to be properly featured a year later in the contract update. Number two, if you make a list of the script IDs of free mode related scripts, or you could check out my post here, there's a high chance we could receive a second VIP contract as hinted by how Rockstar named the Dr. Dre VIP contract as contract one. And the number at the end is suggestive of a second VIP contract. If there is a sequel to the contract, it would make sense to have Franklin introduce us to Michael. And third, and last but not least, not exactly a convincing reason and more of a side note, but back in April 2020, both Ned Luke and Sean Fontano, those are the voice actors and motion capture artists for Michael and Franklin, called for Rockstar to feature them in GTA Online. Rockstar, at least, plans out themes of future updates a year ahead and takes their sweet time to only feature them when an opportunity presents itself. So if they're willing to feature Michael, they would take the time to make him a big part of an update and not just appear within a cutscene and call it a day. Plus, the contract generated a lot of hype just because Franklin came back. So those are really your reasons right there why a contract DLC part two and having Michael DeSanta being featured would ultimately make sense. Those are some of the reasons that we've been talking about really over the last couple of years or so. It's all coming together and I do believe we're going to end up seeing that in December of this year. Another quick thing in case you guys are wondering since today is November 1st, the Halloween weather and the UFOs are officially gone. Rockstar updated the tunables early on this morning. So now the weather has returned to normal in Los Santos and you won't find any unidentified flying objects in the sky. Halloween season is officially over. And now we turn our sights to some other celebrations that hopefully Rockstar focus on. Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year. A lot of exciting stuff coming up here in the future. Now, last but not least in this video today and something we're going to see a little bit later on in the week, we were given some hints that Rockstar was working on some behind the scenes changes for GTA Plus. Looks like they made it a lot easier to subscribe to the platform because now on rockstargames.com slash GTA Plus, the new GTA Plus platform picker is up. It's just a slider with Xbox and PlayStation. I can imagine when that does arrive on PC this December, there's going to be another slider for the PC content. So there you go. That is what's going on right now in Grand Theft Auto Online. And what we can expect going forward in the future is it looks like Rockstar is going to be doing more music centric content, this time allowing us to create our own music, our own beats, our own records in probably connection with Michael DeSanta joining us in multiplayer as well but anyways like i said i'd love to hear from you guys though in those comments down below i would absolutely love to hear from you guys down there if you guys did go to enjoy this video though a like rating would of course be awesome and be sure to subscribe to my youtube channel if you are new or you want to stay up to date on all the latest gta and all the rockstar games videos that i'll be doing here on my channel and be sure to ring that notification bell as well sometimes youtube just doesn't work and if you ring that bell you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive but of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.